Welcome for joining. This is Marine Boy TV, and this channel provides ISM, International Safety Management System, advanced course for shipboard and shore based officers actually involved in ISM related jobs. Okay, let's fly high with ISM from now on. Thank you. This is the whole index of this program from one, memorizing ISM code each chapters, two, commentary ISM code chapters, three, four, five, and twenty, the last uh, countermeasures against PH inspect. Today, we'll start from one and two. This is ISM code. ISM code is consists of chapter 1 to chapter 16. Chapter 1, general and objectives. Chapter 2, safety and environmental protection policy. 3, company responsibilities and authority. 4, designated persons. 5, master's responsibility and authority. 6, resources and personnel. 7, development of plans for shipboard operation, 8. Emergency preparedness, 9. Reports and analysis of nonconformities, accidents and hazardous occurrences, 10. Maintenance of the ship and equipment, 11. Documentation, 12. Company verification, review and evaluation, 13. Certification and periodical verification, 14. Interim Certification 15. Verification 16. Forms of Certificate As you see, 14, 15, 16 is color is a little bit different. Why? Because it is mainly used in certification forms. Therefore, shipboard and shipping company mainly not used. Chapter 14, 15, 16 1. Memorizing ISM code each chapter. As you see, this is uh, chapter 1 to 13. Former pages, I already told you that. Memorizing whole ISM code, chapter 1 to chapter 13, is the most important first step in learning ISM, and it will be a great benefit to you as a person at work. Please, I strongly recommend you to memorize whole chapters from 1 to 13. 2. Commentary ISM Code Chapters Chapter 1 1. General 1.1 Definition 1.1.1 to 1.1.12 is the definition. Among them, 111 is the ISM code, is a definition of the ISM code. ISM code means what? International Management Code for Safe Operation of Ships and for Pollution Prevention Adopted by Assembly. Assembly is uh, one of the IMO, um, IMO organization. 1.2 Objectives 121 Objectives of Code 1 to 2 Safety Management Objectives of Company 1 to 3 Safety Management System Should Ensure 1 to 3 1 Comply with Mandatory Rules and Regulations 1 to 3 2 And that Applicable Guidelines and Standards 1 to 3 Application 1 to 4 Functional Requirement for SMS Chapter 2 Safety and Environmental Protection Policy 2.1 
company should establish environmental protection policy. To the two, company should ensure policy is implemented, maintained, both shipboard and shore based. ISM code is a part of SOLAS, safety of life at sea. You can find the ISM code in the SOLAS chapter 9. Also, you can find ISPS code in chapter 11. Okay, mandatory rule is a rule that is compulsory because the relevant convention stipulates to comply with requirements of said convention. So ISM code to be complied with by all concerned parties. The same goes for the convention as below. MARPOL, STCW, Low Line, COLLEC, and so on. International conventions shall come into force within a period of time when the requirements for restraints are ratified by the member states. From the time of entry into force, the provision stipulates that the relevant matters shall be come into force and company will be required to prepare the certificate to comply with said convention. Following certificates are issued by convention. SOLAS SE Safety Equipment SC Safety Construction SR Safety Radio SMARPO IOPP International Oil Pollution Prevention IAPP International Air Pollution Prevention ISPP CVG EIAPP Engine International Air Pollution Prevention Load Line is ILL International Load Line In ISM there is a safety management certificate and document of document of compliance two kinds ISPS International Ship Security Certificate and continuous synopsis record. What is safety and what is environmental protection? Safety. There are three kinds of safety for human, for ship, and for cargo. For human safety, including crew, quarantine officers, immigration officers, custom officers, repairmen, supply, any other things, all, every, everybody, if they are on board, should be controlled by the shipboard crew. That's a human. Ship, it means see what it is. And cargo is a loading, discharging, during navigation, and so on. What is the environmental protection policy? Environmental means air, oil, sewage, garbage, and blast water. Air is IAPP, oil is IOPP, sewage is ISPP, garbage is garbage record book, but garbage not issuing the certificate. Blast water, blast water management plan, procedure and record. Two, commentary ISN code each chapters. Chapter three, company responsibility and authority. Three dot one, entity responsible for operation. Owner must report details to administration. Three dot two, company should define responsibilities authority and interrelation of the personnel of personnel 3.3 company ensure adequate resources and personnel to carry out function chapter 4 designated person please uh, keep in mind that the, the pronunciation is a little bit different because there is a design so somebody some crew so telling about designated person, but it's not true. Please you check it out, check it out from the dictionary. Designated person to provide link between ship and the company. Designate person for monitoring safety and for pollution prevention and adequate resources and the personnel and show base assist. Show base assist 
is provided to carry out their function. Chapter 5. Master's Responsibility and Authority 5.1. Company should define and document master's responsibility. 1. Implement SMS policy. 2. Man motivating crew. 3. Issue order and instruction. 4. Verification. 5. Review SMS and report to company. 5.2. Company should ensure clear emphasizing statement of master's overriding authority to make decision for safety and pollution prevention and to request company assist when requested. Explaining master's responsibility and authority. 1. Implementing company SMS policy. Implementing company SMS policy. Number 2. Motivating crew. Number 3. Issue instruction and orders in clear and simple manner. Number 4. Verification. Number 5. Review and report to company. Normally, when PAC on board, first question to master should be master's responsibility. Okay, Captain, morning. You understand what is the master's responsibility? Okay, present me. One, implementing so and so. Okay, thank you very much. You're very good. Okay, then how can you find this clause in your uh, procedure? Okay, then you can show them. I'm going to talk about the PDCA cycle. System such as ISO, ISM are made up of PDCA cycle. P is plan, D is do, C check, A is action. The captain's responsibility is also in the order of the PDCA cycle. There is already prepared the manual and procedure for safety management system when master on board the ship. That's the plan. Therefore, the master's responsibility is to do requirement of manual procedure that already have been on board. But it is never enough to do it. Therefore, master need to motivate ship or crew to do the same. However, master can't fulfill what he want to do with motivation all along, simple and clear order instruction should be given to concerned crews and when it is implemented, the results are checked and finally report to the company is the action. Number two, master's overriding authority. The important thing here is the master's decision. When a master makes important decision on safety and environmental protection matters, if it is done with the combination of sound information and long-standing master experience, the company to assist master. Simply, we can say that the, so what is the master's overriding authorities? When master makes decision, makes decision, an important safety and environmental matters. Master has overriding authority and the company to assist master if requested. 2. Commentary ISN Code Each Chapter Chapter 6 Resources and Personal 6.1.1 Master Qualified Command 6.1.2 Master Conversant with SMS 6.1.3 Given necessary support by a company 6.2.1 Crews manned with qualified certificate and medical refit 6.2.2 Appropriately manned for safe operation 6.3 Essential instruction formalization prior to sailing 6.4 Conversant with relevant rules and regulation. 6.5. Training plus drill. 6.6. Working language. 6.7. Communication. 
Chapter 6 is a very, very important、uh, item s because a lot of PAC on board, and if they make a deficient、uh, note, there's a lot of items c o m e s from here in Chapter 6. Chapter 7 Development of plans for shipboard operation. This company should establish procedure and instruction and checklist for key shipboard operation, and various tasks should be defined and assigned to qualified personnel. Chapter 7 Also, there is a lot, lot of items、uh, for the PSC deficiency. Please be careful. And you have to keep in mind that, that okay, next time. Next schedule, what kind of items you have to prepare? Okay, normally you have to check chapter six items, okay, chapter seven items, okay, like this. You can check by yourself. Chapter eight, emergency preparedness. Identify shipboard emergency situation. 8.2 Establish program for exercise and drill. 8.3 SMS provide measures, company ensuring respond at any time. Okay, chapter 7, you can find the key shipboard operation. What it means, the key shipboard operation, there is two kinds one is critical operation, plus one is special operation. What is a critical operation? Critical operation is、uh, say like、uh, number one, restricted visibility, number two, bad weather, number three, passing narrow channel, etc. When the ship is in danger,、uh, so、there is、uh, some limit. So, over the limit, it's connected actually to the accident. It's a very dangerous case. We say that this is a critical operation. So, when prepare the critical operation, all the steps. Uh, should be keep in mind that very, very carefully you have to operate. Then, what is a special operation? Special operation. Special operation is same like a make voice plan, departure, safe navigation watch, enter port, anchoring, berthing, cargo handling, bunkering, and pollution prevention. The same like、uh, your one cycle from the departure. And、uh, all one voyage is completed. It's a one cycle, it、uh, consists of the one cycle. During PSC inspection, always have a lot of non conformities、uh, identified in chapter 6 and 7. So, a lot of、uh, preparation is required. So, working language. What, what, do you, what do you means、uh, working language? Working language means, okay. Ship is、uh, actually delivered from the Japan、uh, very shortly, but the crew, ship's booklet, and、uh, instruction, everything is、uh, shown in the working language. Not working language is Japanese, but the crew is not Japanese. They cannot understand what is, what is to say. In this case, this is a working language. Communication is a captain is.、Uh, Korean, but the other crews, it's、uh, English, it's、uh, Filipino, it's、uh, Myanmar, and、uh, other countries. But Captain just say the Korean language, so crew cannot understand what he said. And that is a communication problem. Training records, is,、uh, when the multinational crew, when they are、uh, on board. Number two, chart, navigation booklet, whether updated or not, checklist, extra. Navigation aids, operable, etc. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, alarm. Thank you. Bye.